uh, <clears throat> what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Slick Rick the Ruler. You know what's up. And uh, we're, in a, we're, we're in a new place. It's a new place. Ain't that right, dude? And um, I'm just going to let you know what this place is like and what it looks like because this is the new backdrop for a stream for a little while. I might get a green screen. I've been thinking about it. Don't know yet. If I get a green screen, that would be nice. This has some character, though. A little bit of Legos. Uh, if you don't know, my little brothers love Legos. This is my family's house, my mom and my stepfather. And this is the playroom that is only really used anymore for Legos storage, really. There's a computer over there, and then there's a TV. That TV, it's hard to point. That TV with that chair uh, was where my little brother used to have his Xbox One, and now they're all in their rooms, so they each have a PS4. And they're in their rooms now, so they don't come in here to play video games or anything anymore. I have a desk that is beautiful. It was made for me by my grandfather before I moved out um, to Florida. I, I never got to use this desk, really. Oh, no, I think this was made for me a while back, like, even before then. But I, for some reason, I never got to uh, use it. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that when I lived in New York, I lived in my grandparents' basement. It sounds funny, but... I lived there because it was close to work, and it was just kind of, I got used to it. So when you get used to something, you tend to stay there. So now I'm at my house. I get to use my desk for once. Uh, I'm in an, a real chair, but this is only temporary. Today, I'm going to go get my DX Racer, which is at my grandparents'. And yeah, I think that's it. I got a bed here. Duke is still good. Duke, come here. Say hi to the peoples. Duke's been liking the colder weather. It's been nice and chilly here. So I just want to give you guys that quick update and uh, we'll hop into whatever video I decide to make today. All right, first match on Berlin, which is fantastic. And it looks like we are 6.7. So can't really frown too much. This tank can handle itself at 6.7. Now, any skins I'm using in this video, uh, links will be in the description down below. I'm going to try to get better about that. So any pictures I use, any skins, I'm going to try to put them in the description down below. I've always been pretty bad about that. I need to take more care after I upload a video or right before I upload a video uh, to make sure you guys get the knowledge that you want. Because here in my garage, some of you guys might not know where the skins are, you know what I'm saying? And you want your Ferdinand to look sexy like mine, or you want your Tiger 2P to look sexy like mine. So yeah, uh, we're just going to get into a sniping spot here. I have no, no plans of pushing extremely hard. Oh man, that would have been... That would have been lovely. Had he pushed just a tad bit more. That's the front of I could I could pen that from that angle, but I'm nervous. Let's just range find it real quick. Just so I don't miss this first shot. 600. I missed it. <laughs> These are tough shots. Because there's like wood in front of him. This thing has a fantastic sight, though. It has uh, the top tier sight, I think. I wish I could have got that eyes, too. Ooh. I haven't played this gun or this tank in a while, which I already said, so I don't expect fantastic aiming right away these guys are all hiding they don't want to they don't want to peek out I don't think we're gonna get any shots from there oh is that a Carnarvon I don't know we're gonna shoot it though whatever it is Scent Mark Three, nice. All right, I'll take that. Little lag. I got a little bit of a stutter there. You see that? <laughs> Trying to turn. Let's actually just get her hold down. Why not? What was I looking for? They're probably yeah. They're on B. I would assume that's the guy who shot at me. Yeah, right there. Looks like another British tank of some sort. What is it? Yeah, it is. A few. Or two or two. 
I don't know if that's necessarily what shot at me, but that thing would have some trouble dealing with the slick bay. Oh wait. Ah, oh, damn. Bounced. I might be able to actually pen him from here though and hit him. Oh, Warwind. Warwind. Oh, there we go. Critical. Yeah, he backed off. And that FE4202 is right there. He's gonna shoot at the Warblewind, and I'm gonna save the Warblewind. I hear bombs. Okay, we're good. I'm coming, Warble. Don't worry. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta kill this guy first. I missed. Damn, I'm a terrible shot with this thing now. I have to kill this guy first. Warblewind can win. Come on. That too? No, that one's a dead. That's a dead one. There we go. Cannon breach commander. I'll take it. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. Warblewind is no longer alive. This is an issue. He was my friend. This FE4000 is going to just get shrecked. This is a bad idea for you, man. No, don't do it. Alright, murked him. Which is nice. Uh, IS-2 wants some revenge. Alright, nice. Nice, we're getting it. We're getting the shots down. That's what we want. Oh, wow. poor IS-2. I have, to sh I have to aim a little bit lower. I set him on fire, but his engine's not out. That's a pain in the ass. Ain't it? it looks like some medium tanks have taken a, a liking to me because I'm getting artied. Too bad I don't see any of them. Alright, we're gonna lose this game unless we do something, so... Let's just go try to cap. B at least. Probably gonna end up getting outflanked. Yeah, our entire team is dead. Very sad. It's very sad that our entire team has died. I can't, I don't know why. Oh, 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 come on. Come on, neutral steer, neutral steer. Neutral steer! No! Alright, we're just gonna J out of this. Okay. Now, we can come back. There's a tank that we can come back in. The Ferdy is not the best tank to take out in the beginning of the match. You know what I'm saying? Ah! Uh, oh, I mean, I didn't even see him. He blinded in so well. We just did the dank flank. Somebody cover me. And the Tiger 2P. Are there more enemies over here? There might be. Yeah, there are. Step in here from behind them. Hop on cap. Alright, we're capped. All is well in the hood. Uh, I think we're good to just push up. I don't see anybody else, which is nice. Oh, there we go. M10. Coming out of spawn. Probably won't be able to get a shot on him. 
Unless he stops. It's probably a slugger, actually. I definitely won't be able to get a shot on him. Hit up that ZSU, though. If he doesn't die. He's dead. He's gonna die. Elevate the gun, please! Alright. Let's go get this slugger. Which nobody seems to see. He, he's looking straight at me, which is tight. Alright, knocked him out. And now we're in their spawn. But I don't want to spawn camp. I have no intentions of that. I just want a good game. I don't want to route an enemy team. I just want balance. I want... I want to fight, you know? I want like, oh wow, I'm bouncing some shots, they're bouncing some shots, let's uh... This is a good battle right here, you know? I, I want that. I don't want, um... I'm in their spawn already, it's like three minutes into the game. Alright, I guess we're just gonna hop into it. Holy shit! What are you doing? Alright, take it, take it like a man. Take it like a man. So I set out this morning, I woke up, I said the Ferdinand would be a cool tank to play. I haven't played it in quite some time. And it is. It is a cool tank, and I think it's it's fun to play. But right now, it, it's just really not worth it. Honestly, I don't know if it's... It could... Listen. I've had days where I'm just unlucky. And this could be one of those days. And you're, you're going to say, well, from what I've seen, it's like you've gotten kills every match. But there's been games in the background that I'm not posting where I die, and I don't get kills. So just take that into note, too. But when I play this many games back to back that are 7.0 and a 6.3, it, it irritates me. And I, I feel for you guys who grind and this is all you have. You don't have the option to play other tanks. But right now, this is not fucking worth it. Now, it could be the luck of the draw. Today, it might just be a lot of people playing 7.0. I could be unlucky right now. But I highly doubt that that's the case. I really doubt that it's just today. It's just me. It's just my luck. And it really could be. So take everything with a grain of salt. But I can't get into a 6.3 match. I haven't all day. It's either been 6.7 or 7.0. And it's been more 7.0 than 6.7 out of like 10 games, I would say. I'm I'm very mad. I'm mad about it because I want to play the Ferdy so bad today. I was so enthusiastic, you know. I just moved. It was a long ride. I, I, I'm excited. It's finally, it's like my first full day here. My game's lagging. I don't know why. I, 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 I'm just very upset right now. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing's working for me and I'm gonna cry like a little pansy you get what I'm saying it's uh so don't don't think that uh, us youtubers don't have bad days cuz we do some more than others <laughs> I, I I'm gonna be honest I rarely have these kinds of days because usually the tanks I pick and shit are you know good enough and I understand the lineup enough but like uh, right now you see this IS6 coming up towards me this is I'm gonna be fucked here this is this is the end of my game um, and I've come to terms with it right now. So, I guess this video went from being a... I guess not, because he doesn't pay attention. But this video went from being a excited Ferdy video to a very upsetting realization of the state of 6.3 War Thunder. <laughs> Real quick. So I guess I'll add to the... I'll add to it for a little bit. We're gonna talk about it for a little bit. Oh, let me kill this guy. Okay. I mean, I guess not. He's angled, which makes no sense to me. Why would you angle on that thing? Attention to the map. I, I guess because he doesn't want to fucking die. Maybe I don't know. All right, <clears throat> let me just try to kill this thing. All right, all right. This is all right. I don't know. It's my luck today. We're doing well. Like how? How? Gaijin. 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 Yeah, we're gonna have to try something different after this video. We're gonna, we're just gonna talk a little bit about how disappointed I am in myself and in, um, the 6.3. While I rush in with the third game. The thing is, 6.3 is a great BR when you're top tier. Fantastic BR. The Tiger 2P, while it has a weak turret, and the Ferdinand, while it has its limitations, and the Yag Panther, while it has its limitations, because they're case-made TDs, they have fantastic guns for the 6.3. And it's not to say that the guns can't perform well at 7.0. I mean, the 88 is on the Panther 2. So, why would it not be a good gun? 
It is. It, I mean, it is. It's a great gun. And it's good all the way up until 8.0, I would say. It can handle its own. It has enough pen. It has the accuracy. But the vehicles that they're on cannot withstand the BR change. The Tiger II is a fantastic chassis, but that turret is weak enough. The Henschel turret is, or Henschel is weak enough. The H, Tiger II H is weak enough at 6.7. You know, it ha the whole front of the turret gets penned by anything at its BR, maybe even a little bit lower. So then if you make the turret even weaker and then put it into a higher BR game, it's just terrible. It's it's not terrible, but, you know, it's it's tough. You have to play a hide-and-go-seek game with a Tiger II, which is an enormous chassis. It's an enormous vehicle. And the Tiger II P is not as fast as a 105 or a Tiger II SLA. So it can't really flank or anything like that. Now we get to the Ferdinand, which is the weakest of this lineup by far. It's fat, slow has enormous weak spots in the front and it's you know the the slow reaction time is just even worse on this thing than uh say a yag panther i would say you could take a yag panther into a 6.7 and play it pretty well because you have to play the sneaky roll but it's fast enough to do that and it has the armor that's trolly enough to do that then we get to the sturm mill which is a slower tank but it has a 128 which lasts itself up to 8.0 again and it's a fantastic gun so when you up tier these tanks to 7.0, you have to deal with their chassis. It's not the guns. It's not it's not the gun performance. You have to deal with the chassis. And the chassis are just tough to deal with. I mean, you saw what... Look at this. The, the battle's over. It's been five minutes. Battle's over. We won the game. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a crossroads. Because I had two decent games, but I didn't have what I wanted. And I, I'm sick of playing 7.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go play a different tank and make a different video. And in this video, what I'm going to leave you guys off with is 6.3 is good when you're top tier. But right now, from my experience, my personal experience, I don't know what you guys have. And please tell me in the comments if you've been getting in 6.3 games. I can't get a 6.3 game. So right now, I wouldn't play 6.3. I would play 6.0 if you can. Uh, play the Stereo Mill as your primary tank. Be very sneaky and one-shot every vehicle you come across. Because right now, this shit ain't cutting it. Uh, and I would guess that 6.0 is probably a, a better tier right now, considering how many tanks are getting spammed out 7.0. There must be a lot of tanks at 5.7, which will get you the top tier 6.0 games that you really, really want. So yeah, um, very interesting game, I guess. Interesting video. I hope you guys are happy that I'm back. I'm happy I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of editing that went into this video. I'm trying to improve quality. Like I said, comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. Duke is uh, sneezing right now, which is interesting. He gets very <laughs> rowdy and like rubs his face on everything. So yeah, comment down below with what vehicle you'd like to see me play next. So uh, if you guys request it, I can bitch about it all I want. If I pick it, I have to get mad at myself. So if you guys pick it, I can get mad at you guys. So I'd much rather have a scapegoat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.